Hi, I'm Jonathan Bird, and welcome to my world. So you've probably noticed that just about every time I go diving, I put on one of these, a wetsuit. Now a wetsuit is called a wetsuit because when you wear it, you still get wet. I mean, water goes in there and you get wet, but you stay warm because a wetsuit is made out of a material called neoprene. Neoprene is rubber. It's flexible. You can see it's very stretchy but it's a rubber that has little tiny micro air bubbles encapsulated in it. So those air bubbles, it's like wearing a suit of air around your body and air insulates you from the colder water. So it's a really great uh, way to stay warm, but the only problem is you're wearing air bubbles so you don't sink very well. In fact, if you jump in the water, you float like a cork. So that's why divers wear a weight belt. You need a little bit of weight in order to counteract the buoyancy of the suit. And suits come in different thicknesses. So in tropical water, like I have here in the Bahamas, I wear a three millimeter suit. You know, not that thick, because you don't need a lot of insulation. But if the water's a little bit colder, I've got a five millimeter suit. If it's colder than that, I've got a seven millimeter suit. And if it gets so cold that I can't wear the seven millimeter suit, that's when I go to the dry suit, which is a different kind of suit altogether. And uh, the brand of suit that I like to wear is Harvey's. And the reason I like these suits, first of all, they're made out of a really nice stretchy material and they're really well stitched together but they're also made in the United States. And it's getting very hard to find a nice US made wetsuit these days. So these guys are one of the only manufacturers left that still makes their suits in the US of A. So they're my favorite. And so now I will demonstrate the buoyancy of a wetsuit. Ready? As you can see, I float. Do, 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 do. Are there sharks here? 